What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Coach's Corner. I'm your host, Coach T Mac. Today, I want to talk to you about another piece of wide receiver technique that anybody in any offense can benefit from. I call this the lose the yard, and it's all about stem return with a plan and control. If you ever want to catch these conversations live, I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evenings, and sometimes on Sunday. But make sure you like and subscribe to the channel to catch all my conversation uploads. Now, cue the intro. It parts like the Red Sea when we touches them. No, it's, it's like one, when you hear that you made the 105, it's like Christmas morning. But my, if the ball comes in the B-gap, I've got to make that play. Right? So not everybody starts at ground zero equally. Now I want to move into the second part, which is stem return or the losing the yard. So when we talk about losing the yard, this is what we're doing, right? We, throw, we call a curl, we call a five yard stop, we call a dig, we call anything. We're going to lose that yard, right? We're going to come back down that stem because we don't want the DB to come over our shoulder, cut us off, beat us to the ball, pick six, knock it down, all of those things. Well, what do you normally see, right? Hey, come back to the ball. Kid runs a 10-yard curl. He's going he's gonna to go hit this 10-yard mark, and then he's going to just run at the quarterback. Or if the ball's starting to be thrown right as he breaks, he's going to come right back down to the ball at the path that it's going as soon as he comes out of his break. That's not always the best thing. And let's talk about why. And I'm going to show you some clips of when it doesn't work. This is where receivers, receiver play and route running turns into math. It turns into ge geometry, okay? When we break down, if we, run, if we come off the ball really aggressive, we push that safety back or we push that corner back and we create a little bit of space for us to sit it down and catch that 10-yard curl. Okay, well, if, if we sit it down at 10, turn around and we attack the ball, we have now essentially turned a 10-yard route into a six-yard catch. We have to do a little bit of work to get back to that 10, even if it is seven, even if it is eight. We're running vertically. We sit it down. We turn our backs to the defender. Well, when we turn our backs to the defender, they have coaching points. They have talking points. They have keys then how they're going to either break up this pass or make the tackle, secure the tackle. If I come out of my break at a consistent angle, okay, then they can set their angle of pursuit to match that and meet me at the quickest point possible. But if I can delay my stem return, I'm still going to come back to the ball, but if I can delay my stem return, then I can change the angle of which they attack. You run a 10-yard curl, you stop, you come back to the ball, they're going to mirror that angle and they're going to meet you as soon as possible. Your ability for yards after catch are going to depend on their inability to tackle or your God-given ability to reaccelerate. Well, if we don't want to rely on them to mess up and we're not totally sold on our ability to run away from everybody that we play, let's use the lose one stem. And what I mean by that is what you see right here in these very crude drawings that you're going to see in clips is the curl that stops and he stops right there. Or if we're over here in the slot, stops right there. And then the ball will dictate the angle at which I return, but it won't dictate when I return to it. I will return to it when the ball is approaching its apex on its path. So I'm going to run that 10 yard curl, boom, sit it down, show my hands, turn big chested to the quarterback. Quarterback's going to release it. Safety's playing inside. He's probably going to put it on my outside shoulder, but I'm not just going to turn and take off as soon as I turn around and see where that ball is because the safety's going to match me. He's going to mirror me. He's going to wrap me up. We're going to get seven, eight yards. It's going to be great, right? But I'd rather get 70. How can I do that? Well, once I come out of my break, stop. Let the ball come out of the quarterback's hand, reaccelerate through the catch. This is the same principle we talk about when we talk about screens, right? Guys that can accelerate through catches. If you have to stop to catch the ball, you're probably not going to be great at running tunnels or hitch screens, right? This is what Odell Beckham does really great. He accelerates through his catches. That's why he takes so many slants to the house. Well, I know our guys aren't Odell Beckham, but when we're in a stationary position and we can use our reacceleration to change the angle of attack of the secondary player, then we can create the space that we need. 
So I turn around, I stop. He sticks his foot in the ground. He takes his three steps. He drives to my shoulder, or my hip to try and secure that tackle, break up that ball. Well, as he has already started, he has reacceleration to point A. I adjust my return on my stem to lose one at a different angle. Now he's got to decelerate and then reaccelerate. So I've just now created with my hesitation, allowing the DB, drawing the DB in to tight quarters being covered early again. So I can be open late by changing that stem angle. Not only am I running a shorter distance and losing less yards, but I'm creating more space for yards after catch by being under control and being patient. So when we look at tape of that, again, I'm going to use my teammates. I'm going to use guys that I know, but when we look at this, okay. This is the perfect example. We got a 10 yard curl top of the screen. They've been playing off coverage. We're going to seal the curl flat player with our uh, inside vertical by rubbing shoulders. He's got to cover a lot of ground. He's probably going to drop a little bit, but we're, we've been, we've been killing him on the deep balls all first half or all first quarter. So now we're going to take a little sit down because they're playing super soft. Ball's gone. Terrence is totally still. He's behind the score right now, but he's totally still. The DB has begun his approach to make that tackle. Now, accelerate late at one angle. Look at how off balance he had to come down towards the sideline, then change direction. The DB had to change direction to come down inside because Terrence was hesitant and delayed in his stem which created the window to turn up field. So full speed right here. Pressing, pressing, pressing. No, we're sitting down. Boom, hesitant, come back, boom, turn, space. Okay. Now, just so y'all don't think, well, that guy's really good. He got drafted, yada, yada, yada. Very next clip, he didn't do a great job of it, and I'm going to show you the difference. Okay. But when you look at this one, I mean, you can stop it at all the points you need to. Ball's out. Terrence is still. Ball's halfway. Terrence is still in his same spot. And the DB is pushing him towards the sideline. So now when Terrence comes out and attacks towards the quarterback, the DB is off balance, but he's having to change his angle to try and make a tackle. So now we can turn outside again. Okay, so let's go to one where it doesn't work great. Okay, what did I tell you the traditional stem is? We're going to run to our point, we're going to shut it down, and then we're going to attack straight to the ball. Okay, here's the problem. And again, this is a seven-yard completion. This is a first down play. This isn't a bad deal, right? Got your completion. But look, he came straight out, and my big head's in the way, so let me go up here. He came straight out of his break. Well, there we go. Pushes the 10, sits it down, and comes straight out of his break. Right there. He comes straight back to the ball, so everybody can rally to the same point. Instead of, if he waits just a little bit longer, and lets the, lets the secondary set their attack point, but here's the difference. He comes straight back down, and now all these guys rally. I got no chance for yards after catch. He didn't allow the DB to set their attack angle before changing their point of attack. But on the flip side, same situation. He's in the slot, playing in a lot of space. He presses. He stopped. The ball still hasn't been thrown. Ball's out now. He still hasn't moved. So just right there, same exact same play. But in the last one, he came screaming down his stem. And in this one, if I can get it to play without glitching, in this one, you see one little pop right there. And all that did was change. It said it told the DB, it told number eight, I can attack vertically because he's stationary. Close it, turn away. Now, he might have got a half a yard more, but we're a shoestring tackle from a lead blocker up the sideline. 
We're a shoestring tackle from a lead blocker up the sideline. So what we're looking to do here is control our return stem to lose only one, not four or five. Press, sit, be in control, come back just a little bit as this DB attacks straight to the middle of my body because he thinks I'm going to catch this thing stationary. Now I can turn away. But on this one, I'm going to run back down the, the stem so everybody can run with me. We're all running together. We all break down together. I get tackled as soon as I catch it. And in this one, we control our stem return, shut it down, balls at his apex, come in to go out. DB's off balance because he doesn't know what my attack point is because I keep changing it. So it's a very subtle piece of technique, but it's something that can, again begins to create space. And this can be applied, like I said, to your RPOs as a guy starts to fill a void when he had, when he catches that ball as the backer fills for the run game, he can he can subtly come back with a half step, right, or a half shuffle instead of trying to run back to the ball because the safety is going to be rallying to him. The farther away the safety is, the more delayed or more subtle our stem needs to be. If it's if they're off and we stem we return big down our stem then we lose our ability for yards after catch if they're tight then we run away we've it all circles back to we've got to be covered early so we can be open late it's just butter we win gulags baby 